You know, I ended up being on a boat in the south of France owned by David Bowie. Even though it was fun working with movie stars and rock stars, none of them gave me passion. So my advice would be... Hi, I'm Janine Ellis. Recently on social media, I asked you what you wanted to know from me with regard to how to. And I have them right here. So are we ready? Here we go. How do you define what you're passionate about? It's interesting, isn't it? Because you know, people go, you do something you're passionate about and you never work a day in your life, right? But passion is not something you can actually just go and do a course for. <laughs> Passion's not something you can ask a friend. Uh, can you tell me what I'm passionate about? Passion comes from within. My daughter's 15 years old and I look at her and her friends and you know, you've got her friend who's, who's a particular special friend at the moment is into soccer. Right, and already he's going, I'm passionate about soccer. Now, because of that passion for so soccer and sport, he's also passionate about gym and fitness. So already you know that he wants to have a career as a physio or as a some sort of career in, in fitness because that's what he's passionate about. Myself, it took me a long time for me to find out what I'm passionate about, right? So I started uh, picking strawberries. Uh, from there, I worked as a cashier checkout chick at Target. From there, I worked in advertising, uh, in media in the 80s. Now, that was interesting. Uh, I put a backpack on my back. I was then a count counsellor. I was a nanny in France. I sold timeshare in Portugal. So I did a lot of things to try and find out what I was passionate about. <laughs> you know, I ended up being on a boat in the south of France owned by David Bowie. But none of those things, even though it was fun working with movie stars and rock stars, none of them gave me passion. And it was when I came back and had a couple more kids and I first started Boost Juice Bars that I found my passion. Now, and I had no idea that that was my passion. But what I loved about it was I, I knew I was making a difference to people with regard to their options they could have in a fast food environment. So if I can get fresh fruit and vegetables in people's diet, I was passionate. I was passionate about creating a business that gave customers an amazing customer experience. So I found my passion in business. So I didn't find my passion until I was 32 years old. So don't think just right now, if you're sitting there going, what's my passion about? I don't know, that you're not come, it won't come to you. So my advice would be try lots of things. Not sure if you want to work on a yacht or a nanny in France, but try what you think that you would like to do. A lot of people sort of sit there and get analysis paralysis because they can't work out what their passion is without just doing something. Because what, I, what you find with life is that even if you work, say, okay, I'm gonna get a job in a cafe, right? I'm not sure what I'm doing, I'm gonna get a cafe, a cafe job. And every day, a guy called John comes up and eventually you start speaking to John and John has a business that he thinks you'd be perfect for. So even though you didn't realize that your path to your passion was a cafe job or a, a farming job or whatever, you keep that curious mind and the ears and eyes open and your passion will come. So I think in the end, to the answer to that is passion is not something you can learn, it is a feeling. But find it, if you can find that passion, you'll never work another day in your life. Thanks a lot for joining me on my how-tos. There is a regular series of how-tos. Please click subscribe and you'll get access to all of them. What I really want from you, if you don't mind, any how-tos you want from me, please add in the comments. I'll read them regularly and I will use them as my ongoing series of how-tos. Thank you so much for your support and remember to subscribe. <music>